Africa's first ladies, led by the wife of Nigeria's president, Mrs. Aisha Buhari, converge on the State House for the 10th General Assembly of the Africa First Ladies Peace Mission. The war in Sudan and its attendant consequences dominate conversations as the first ladies take turns to outline possible solutions in their remarks. There is need, Your Excellencies, to establish and strengthen conflict management structures regionally, nationally, locally, at all those levels, and provide capacity building of members of such structures on laws and policies that promote gender equality, peace building, conflict analysis, mediation, negotiation, reconciliation, and women empowerment. If we bring women on board, and provide what is needed, I believe the conflicts across our region will come to an end. There are some signals that people will see at the beginning and that we don't pay any attention to. By the time you ignore those signals, we are involved in full blown crisis. Wife of Nigeria's president, Mrs. Aisha Buhari, who doubles as the ninth president of the organization, boasts about fulfilling her promise to construct an official headquarters for the peace mission in Abuja, while also illuminating the need for constructive engagements in Sudan. Another humanitarian window has been exposed with the sudden eruption of violence in Sudan. All hands must be on deck to ensure that the problems are not allowed to escalate. This mission is open to engaging with all relevant bodies in this regard. To rekindle commitments towards the promotion of peace and conflict resolution, there is an official signing of a memorandum of understanding between the peace mission and the African Union. The Africa First Ladies, otherwise known as the Agents of Change, are apparently doubling down on their efforts and contributions towards achieving peace, cohesion and security on the continent, leveraging on several strategies and contributions uh, to deviate away from being mere political tourists to actually advance in greater participation and inclusion on the continent. From the Presidential Villa, Gloria Umezuki, Channels Television News.